Hello dear students, in this video we will be discussing about a very important experiment that is balsam plant experiment from plant physiology. Before we are going to see the experiment, we will see procedure of this experiment. This is simple procedure. The experiment name is balsam plant experiment. The main objective or aim of this experiment is to determine the experiment that xylem is the pathway of ascent of sap. We know that there are two conductive tissues in plants. One is xylem, another one is phloem. These two together called as complex tissues in plants. Here, the phloem, which is one of the complex tissues, it transport food materials. Whereas, xylem, which is second type of complex tissue which transport water in the plants. Here with the help of this simple experiment we are going to prove that water is transporting through xylem. This is our main aim or objective. For this we need very few simple materials or requirements. The first requirement is a beaker. The second requirement is water. The third requirement is stain. Usually in this experiment, use in stain will be used. But instead of one stain, in this experiment, we are going to use different stains. Number one is eosin, number two is saffronin, number three is crystal violet. Means instead of one stain, we are going to use three different stain in the current experiment. Next, balsam plant with roots or even without roots also no problem means even we can take a twig of balsam plant or a total plant along with roots but preferably it is better to choose white color balsam plant why we are using balsam plant here in this experiment means the balsam plant having transparent stem due to the presence of these transparent stems we can easily observe the transportation of water or color water and their path in the stem. Even we can observe the path or movement of sap or xylem sap or color water even without dissection also. That is only enabled due to the presence of transparent stems. That's why we are using balsam plants in this experiment. Coming to the procedure, it is very simple procedure. First of all, we need to take beakers, total we are going to take 4 beakers, we have to fill the beaker with water, next we need to add few drops of different stains, in the first beaker for example we are going to add few drops of eosin stain, in the second beaker also we are adding second type of stain that is saffronin, in the third we are going to add few drops of crystal violet. In the fourth beaker, we are not going to add any stain, means it is blank, only we are keeping normal water in that fourth beaker. Next, we are keeping four twigs, balsam plant twigs in four beakers. This is second step. After that, we need to put all beakers aside for two or three hours. After two or three hours, we can observe color lines on transparent stem of balsam plant. Here we could see different different color lines in different different stems. For example, in eosin color containing beaker stems shows light orange color lines on the transparent stem. In the saffronin containing beaker stems shows red or pink color lines on the transparent stem. Whereas the stems which are placed in crystal violet containing beaker shows blue color lines. But in the fourth beaker which is blank beaker the stems do not consist any color lines on the transparent stem because here we are not added any stain. That's why though the water is moving in the xylem we cannot find any color lines. Even we can further confirm it by the transfer section of stem. 
here with the help of blade we can dissect the stem and we can observe the slice under microscope where we can see clearly the transportation through the xylem means in the slice we can see the xylem is colored with the respective stain for example the slice from the stem which is placed in eosin stain containing beaker shows yellow or light orange color in the xylem portion in case of saffronin we can see red or pink color in the xylem portion whereas in crystal violet containing beaker or slice consist blue color xylem tissue but in the blank we can't see any color in the xylem portion that's why it is confirmation that that the xylem is water transporting tissue in the plant stems means the experiment confirms xylem is the pathway of ascent of sap now we will see the entire procedure practically this is first beaker in the water we added eosin strain it is second beaker which is containing water which is added with saffronin stain the third one consists crystal violet in the water these are the three different stains we used in this experiment fourth one is empty water means we didn't add any color or stain in this water means it is blank this is entire setup first one is blank second one is crystal violet third one is saffronin fourth one is eosin stain we added different colors and we put one twig of balsam plant in each beaker we left it for two or three hours for the ascent sap after two or three hours we can observe the color lines like this we can see different different color lines in different different beakers here it is anatomy of different stems the first two slices these two slices taken from the stems which placed in saffronin containing beaker so that the xylem portions colored with pink or red color the second two slices here we can see blue color xylem means due to the crystal violet color the xylem portion stained with blue color the third two slices containing yellow or light orange color xylem because here we used eosin stain but in the slices from the stems from the fourth beaker they do not shows any color because we didn't use any color in the fourth beaker that's why yeah this is anatomical view here we can see pink color xylem which indicate the xylem is a transporting tissue here in this slide we can see light yellow color it is also it is indication that xylem is a transportation tissue here in this slide we can see blue color which indicates that the colored water crystal violet colored water moved or transported through xylem only it is all about balsam plant experiment it is a proof for that the xylem is a main complex tissue which is useful to the ascent of